Hey everyone, this is Ross. In today's video, we are somewhere around mid-October now. And mid-October here in the Philadelphia area is a really great time to be planting our garlic. And I want to talk to you guys about uh, doing this. You know, all the steps of the way that I'm going to be doing it, why I'm growing garlic as well. You know, it's just such an affordable thing to grow. Garlic's really expensive at the store, and if you were to just grow it yourself, you would never have to buy garlic again. You always have access to garlic. Just with a really small piece of land, such as this right here, this is a three foot wide bed by, let's say, six feet. I can grow enough garlic in this bed to last me the entire year. So I think it's a well worth, it's a crop that's well worth growing, and it's extremely easy to grow. The first step that you guys have to worry about, though, is getting yourself the right seed garlic. And we have basically a bunch of cloves that I've separated from my own cloves, my own bulbs, I'm sorry, and also from bulbs that I purchased online. From people that really know what they're doing when it comes to growing garlic, right? You can go and you can buy some garlic bulbs at the store and you can plant them, but you know what? That's not a great idea because you want the right genetics. Just like with all of our fruit trees here, guys, all the vegetables, every single thing that we grow is adapted or not well adapted to our location. And it's just the same thing with garlic. Garlic is going to do better, depending on the genetics that it, it has, is going to do better in certain locations. Find out from your friends what garlic does well near you, or go online to some of these uh, garlic websites. I recommend, uh, let's see, who did I get these from? The main potato lady. I recommend her. Um, they have all kinds of information on there about what kind of gro uh, garlic you guys should be growing. I'm growing the variety called Music. It's a really well adapted variety that people have been using for years. It does extremely well. I have no worries about it. It puts out a great, great bulb that has nice flavor, good uniformity. Um, yeah, it's just a no brainer here. It also puts out a nice scape because there's, there's a difference between a hard neck and a soft neck garlic. So the hard necks is what I like to grow. First off, you can only grow hard necks if you plant them in the fall. And that's really what you're doing here in northern climates, is that we have this actually advantage of growing hardneck garlic that we can plant in the fall, which is when you should plant your garlic, and then to be able to harvest that the following season in June and July. So if we do that, we plant our hardneck garlics, sometime in June they're going to flower and they're going to put out something called a scape. And the scapes are absolutely wonderful. We can pinch them off with our thumbs, we've done videos on that. And we can cook them up, put them with some, some olive oil and saute them and get them a little brown. They are so, so good. And you can't really get that in warmer climates because you can't get the hard neck flowers. You can't get them to flower like that. So I think it's a nice privilege. And for me personally, I don't see the whole point of growing anything other than a hard neck here in this climate. So choose your variety wisely. But the biggest thing that you guys need to worry about here is the size of these cloves. This is gonna net you the largest bulbs possible. And if you have the largest bulbs possible, if I'm using, I'm taking my largest bulbs that I grew last year, and I'm taking the cloves from these, I have the largest stock, which will then net me the largest bulbs the following year. A small clove will get you a small bulb. It's just a matter of fact, there's not a whole lot you can do about it right? You want the right sun, you want enough food, you want enough water. But at the end of the day, if you have a larger, a larger clove, you're going to have a larger bulb. And if you continue this process, you want to keep growing garlic continuously. You don't want to have to go and go on the main potato lady's website and buy seed from her. You want to save your own garlic every year. Well, you can do that, but you got to make sure that you're growing large garlic because if you're not getting large enough garlic, your garlic will again eventually get smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller every year until you know you do it right. You have the right size cloves. And I've learned that the hard way. It took me a while and I spent enough money on buying seed that this year I've learned my lesson. I'm only using, I really went through all the garlic I grew, guys. I put them in three different categories. I have the small bulbs that won't store well. I have another category, the medium-sized bulbs that maybe will store well. And then I have 
a third category of bulbs that are the largest and those I've saved them separately just for seed for next year. So that's what this is. I went through all my bulbs and even if you have a large bulb, you're not necessarily guaranteed a large clove. They can be different size cloves in here. There can be a different number of them. You want to go through all this and I have these extra ones here just in case I need more. But you want to go through these and choose out the largest ones. Otherwise, you're just not going to have large garlic and you're not going to have large garlic seed for next year. Yeah, it doesn't affect the flavor. It does affect kind of your mental state when you're cooking this stuff <laughs> and you have to peel some small garlic. It's just not as, uh, it's not as awesome. It's really a little bit more work. You know, you're, you're, let's say you're eating a crab and you've got yourself a nice crab leg and there's just this little piece of meat and you have to kind of really work hard to get a little piece of meat. It's just not worth it. It's the same thing with garlic. But now I want to show you guys, now that you've got the right seed, I want to talk about the soil, okay? So this is the second most important thing that is pretty often overlooked. And here's my soil here is that it's really well draining. And what I've done is I've added on top of a pretty heavy soil. If I dig down in here, I have clay. And this clay holds a lot of water. It has a lot of nutrients. I don't really have to feed anything here because it just has so much nutrients in it. And it also holds a lot of water, so I don't have to water anything here. However, it holds too much water. So that's kind of a disadvantage here for garlic because these cloves, these will rot pretty easily. Just like a root in the soil that sits there for too long and too wet of soil, it's gonna rot. So we need to make sure our garlic's not doing the same thing. Even in next year in the, in the summer or the beginning of the summer, we can even have some mold issues. So if we prepare the soil well now, this is kind of the steps that we're taking to do these things now, a little bit of extra work, it's gonna really pay off later in that I'm not even gonna to have to come in here and do anything. So what I'm gonna do now is just make myself a nice little divot with my hoary hoary here. And what I like to do is space them out about four inches apart. It's a good spacing, especially for somebody who's on a little bit, needs a little bit more room. And we're just gonna stick these guys in here. And what I can do is even make a little bit deeper of a hole if I need to. Four inches apart. I don't recommend really pressing down hard on these because you can damage the clove potentially. But we're just gonna stick all this in here. And here's the key, right? You don't wanna mess up this little step is that this is the bottom, this is the top. This is where the leaves come out of and this little piece down here is where the roots come out of. It's very easy if you just really look at this and kind of understand how this works. You don't want to mess that part up there, guys. And you know what? After looking at this clove, it seems like this is actually two and one. Or maybe I'm mistaken here. I can't tell with my gloves on. You know what? We'll just let it grow. And if it gets two and one, so be it. All right. So we've got our garlic situated here, guys. And this is a really good time to feed. This is the perfect time. You want to do this like twice a year. First off, you want to put some in the hole. And then later in the, in the spring of next year, we want to feed them once again. So I've got myself some horse manure from my buddy Simon, who came over here and, and, uh, and gave me a little bit. We're just going to crumble some of this in here. And that is going to help feed this garlic. And now the next step is really just to cover this up. And we don't want to bury our garlic too much. We do want to bury it. You can pack it in there, pack the soil around them. And you know what, if you don't want to add in the soil, the, uh, the fertilizer here in the hole, just put it on top. That really doesn't matter. We just want to make sure that this 
is not going to rot. That's really the key here. So if we put too much on here, we have a soil that's not well draining enough, we're really gonna regret it and we're gonna be wasting our time. So that's pretty much planting it, guys, right there. So with this little technique of doing it like this, I'm not gonna have to feed this or I'm gonna have to feed it one more time. We can even throw down some micronutrients in here, different other amendments that if I wanna really amend this bed, I can. But we only feed it one more time. I'm not gonna have to water this because of how my climate works and how my soil, my soil is just very heavy. And we have a good selection here, good site selection and that we get enough sun. Um, and all I'm really gonna have to do is just harvest this at the right time. So if you gotta take these steps here and you do it like this, you select the right seed garlic, you get the right varieties, the right size cloves, you will have success and you won't have to do anything. So I wanna thank all you guys here for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this one. I know it was informative. We've never done a video like this, a, a planting, a garlic planting video. Um, we've done other videos on curing. So go back and watch that. We have one on storing. Uh, we have some on the harvest. We have some on the scapes, um, you name it. So go back and check out other videos here, guys, on garlic. We'll talk to you soon. Take care, everyone.